Hello and welcome to another video of Learn UX ID. Today I am excited to share with you some of the specs you can generate for your developers. So if you are designing or uh, working with developers and designing for development purpose, and I think you have to do that in the end, there are few things you need to consider. First is that you you have to tell your developers that what are the different paddings, the different spacing, the different heights and width of different elements. So we, we have some plugins in Figma for that. So I'm going to share with you some of the plugins. Uh, so let's get started and see those three plugins. Okay, so you can see over here uh, in this screen, uh, you can see over here, I have generated this and it shows the padding around uh, and spacing in different items. Like you can see, this is a button. This is uh, actually uh, a component and this is the instance of the component. So you can see 16 over here, 16, 16 over here, six and six at the top and bottom. Similarly, I have something over here, which is going to show the height, uh, which is 65 total height, 271 is the width of the button. Uh, the icon size, you can see the width of the icon, 36 by 36. Okay, so fine enough. And uh, let me share with you one more thing, which is this one. So if you are working with a design system and you want to generate the specs for the buttons, you can see over here, uh, this is the plugin uh, and it generates all the specs. So you can see over here, it shows, let me zoom into it a bit. So let's hide these and let's see. So here is the anatomy of the button. You can see textile. It is showing every every detail we can tell our developers. So this is a very, very nice way. So you can see over here, black, light blue, white. So I actually changed some of the, these are different uh, vari variants of the same button. So here we have, uh, it shows all the colors. So you can see this is changed. So it is showing all the, uh, color styles I have been using. Similarly, over here, dark green, and this is green on dark, medium blue, medium green. So it shows type. Uh, there were two types of buttons. One is solid button and one is ghost. I think it doesn't, didn't show the ghost actually. I have to change it. And also the spacing. So you can see over here, uh, item spacing between the text is zero and you can see it is showing all the spacing around it clearly and I think you cannot go far beyond uh, these kind of specs. So um, these are more than enough for any developer. So uh, I, I really love all these three plugins. So let's move to those plugins and see what were those plugins. So the first one uh, was uh, red lines. So let's run, run it and this is the red lines. So you have to select something like, let's delete all the, um, all the information that has been generated. Okay, so click an instance. So you can see over here on the left, it is a button and it's an instance. So now we need to create um, the height and the width and you can also change the color so why, why the color is not changing? So let's try to change it from here. Let's, okay, so you have to enter the hexadecimal value. You cannot select from here. Anyhow, so now uh, you can change the color. So now you can see the color is a bit changed, a bit more darker, brighter color of red. Uh, you can also change the font size and everything. Uh, these, uh, for me, I think these are not, um, Maybe you can use them in some instances like having a, 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 an op opaque uh, light opacity uh, pink at the top. But for me, I think this is mirroring lines is the best thing for this. Okay, so next, next plugin is, which I really, really loved is outline. Oh, I, I really love this one. Enjoyed this one a lot. So, you, we have selected something over here and let's run it and it will show you all the different paddings and spacing. Let's select this and let me see if it can generate something, nothing to out outline because my nav bar is not, um, let's select this. So uh, I think I am not using, um, 
something over here so i think i need to have something like this okay so now it has been generated because uh, it is going to work on an auto layout or a component where we have the spacing so uh, in the button i have been using auto layout so you can see uh, let me show you you can see it is showing the distance between uh, both the items uh, you can also change the color from here and this is uh, styling um, of the text over here this is I'm not sure the curved and this is also the rectangles uh, the the dashed rectangle around it so you can change some of the styling really love this great plugin for Figma to create all the specifications the last is this one so this one was um, I think I, I used this one this one was eight shapes specs so these are the three plugins I would really recommend red lines outlines and eight shapes specs so if you are working with a very big design system I think eight, eight shapes specs is the best thing so let's delete all the specs and generate them again for that I need to uh, select any instance so let's delete this outline let's hide this let's move to this control so here's the button and now i'm going to run this eight shapes let's run this and it is generating all the specifications and here we have all the specs let's zoom out hide the sidebars let's zoom in a bit and see so now you can see this whole anatomy and the properties of different variants uh, generated nicely type uh, the problem of the type you can fix that you can change it over here so this is the actual component so if I you can see it is solid selected so I'm going to use ghost over here like this and there are some few mistakes over here uh, here and there like you can see this is not light blue so if I click this and go over here uh, I can select light blue and solid okay so you can create and change like you can see blue on dark let's see if it is blue on dark uh, yes it is blue on dark uh, light blue um, they look the same <laughs> anyhow dark blue is different black on white dark green green on dark medium blue so these are all different button types, styles, variants, everything has been listed over here. Very, very detailed specifications, this plugin. So I would recommend that you try out these three plugins, outline, eight shapes, packs, and red lines, and I hope you will enjoy them. Uh, stay tuned, keep on uh, learning from me. Make sure you subscribe uh, this channel because I have seen that a lot of viewers are not subscribers, please subscribe because it gives me um, hope that I have to create content for my subscribers. Okay, so that is all. I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, video lesson and we'll meet you in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.